Hi, welcome to Indian Vedic School of Yoga and now I'm going to tell you the Bhastrika Pranayama and in this Bhastrika is just nothing but it pumps your blood flow, it increases your blood flow more in the thoracic region. Now I'm going to tell you how to do the Bhastrika Pranayama. You need to just sit in any meditative postures like Siddhasana, Sukhasana, Vajrasana or any asana whichever your comfortable levels are and now I'm going to sit like this and the hands should be in Chin Mudra or Drona Mudra. Drona Mudra is just nothing but closing your two fingers like this and making your hands you know comfortable levels to hold your nostril like this closing with your thumb and closing with your ring finger both the nostrils. Now sit in Chin Mudra, sit with the Chin Mudra and now start inhalations 4 and exhalations 4. While inhaling your stomach out, exhaling stomach in. Now observe that and after that a continuation inhalation to be taken. Hold the breath inside then close your fingers like this your nose with the thumb and the ring finger. Hold the breath inside for 5 to 8 seconds then stay in the posture for some time then release. This is called one round. Four such rounds are going to be one cycle. Like that we are going to do four cycles. Now I am going to show you how I am going to do the Bhastrika Pranayama. Now This is how you are going to do Bhastrika Pranayama. This is simple Bhastrika Pranayama. Now I am going to do freestyle Bhastrika. Like it gives you more effect to your thoracic area and clears your lung disorders. You know. Now make a fist of your hand and while exhaling you need to take the hands back. While inhaling you need to put your hands front. This is how it has to be and the hands while exhaling you will be pulling it back and taking it side by your chest. So it gives you an effect of the diaphragm area and the lungs area and the thoracic area will be getting affected. Now the other freestyle Vastrika is putting your hands both up like inhalation up and exhalations down while coming down your both hands to be by the side of the chest like this. Coming down, close the fist again and place it like this. Observe your breath and expand the chest while taking it up and coming back. The chest should be expanded. Okay, and now there is another style, freestyle Bhastrika, side movements. And this effect goes to our shoulder level, clavicular area. This effect gives a effect on the clavicular area and this effect gives an area to thoracic area and this effect gives an area to both clavicular and thoracic area. So now while doing this please close your eyes. I just have opened my eyes to show you the explanation of it. So you better follow this and this will be much easier for you to maintain more breath inside and outside exhalations and inhalations properly so that you know you will have a good effect in the respiratory organs. And now I am going to tell you the benefits of this pranayama. And it is a revitalizing pranayama and it gives you strength, it, it builds up your immunity levels to you know go ahead and reduce the cold and uh, 
excess mucus and at the same time it helps for the eliminates of the sinusitis also and it is very good for the asthma and bronchitis people and it is a very good pranayama to practice for asthma and bronchitis people and at the same time it gives an excessive pressure to the diaphragm the movements of the diaphragm will be getting you know more stimulated and at the same time the it massages all the organs of the digestive it increases the digestive and the excretory organs will be improved because of the excessive pressure has been given to the diaphragm the movement and pressurizing the diaphragm system it gives and eliminates all the disorders of the stomach and digestive power will be increased and at the same time excretory organs functions will be performed properly and at the same time you will have a lot of benefits the people who have you know excess of uh, this disorders lung disorders and all will get cured the people who are not supposed to practice this asana are high bp people hernia people heart diseases people and ulcers these people are not supposed to practice this and at the same time this pranayama is very very good to strengthen our nerve system also it gives a very good effect on the nerve system please do practice this pranayama and get revitalized thank you